Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's Dark Avengers comic book review. Two comics left, both tying for comic book of the week, because both were pretty good. Warning off the bat, there's a huge spoiler in this comic. Green Lantern Corps, number 53. 53? Yeah, 53. Uh, it starts off with a prequel of when Sinestro originally got his first Yellow Lantern ring. Not the Lantern Corps ring that he has now, just the yellow ring that he used against the lanterns and how Jordan, way back when he first became, um, he, well, not a Sinestro Corps, but when he first became a, a wielder of the yellow light, so to speak. And the weapon is the one that forged it. He's like, we destroyed an entire world through fear to create this ring for you. Da, 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 da. We have great hope for you, Sinestro. Um, um, and that's where they leave it off. So now it's years... Now we're in the present, and Kyle is on... I forgot the name of the planet. That is why I'm using what the this. What the fuck happened there? He has a hole in his head. The alien has a hole in his head. That's just yeah, the old, old, old. old Atlantic Corps. They took his brain! Yeah, right. it is the current home world of the, of the Sinestro Corps, the planet Korugar. Korugar. And Kyle's there helping fix up the place, and he's like, you guys should be helping, but since I'm here, I guess I'm going to be doing all the work. They're getting pissed off, and they're talking about the truce between Sinestro and the Green Lantern Corps, and uh, Sora is off somewhere else, and he's like, I could use your help, and basically the weapon shows up. He kills the guy with the hole in his head, by the way. The guy now has no head, as you can see in this Man. picture. I That's kick ass. Crush it. I love how graphic they got yeah. in this book. That's great. Right, Sorry, guys. I'm and the artwork. Really now, cool. for those of you who read uh, Brightest Day, one of the first few parts, you'll see that the weaponer got the um, net that Dead Man made with the white oh, lamp, right. with the white ring, and he actually um, wielded it into he um, fused it into his shield, giving his shield the ability to change things with the white light, which is the white lantern light, which can hurt or negate anything that the green or yellow or any core light uh, brings into um, against it. And then finally you find out, huge spoiler guys, and I'm warning you, you might want to skip this. I'm giving you three seconds before I reveal this huge spoiler. You find out Sinestro's daughter is Sora who is Kyle Rayner's girlfriend. For those of you who know Green Lantern Corps, you know who Sora is because she's been in Green Lantern Corps since day one. She is Sinestro's daughter, and she's taken by the Weaponer. So Kyle goes back to Earth to get Sinestro to help him to get his daughter back. Sinestro wants nothing to do with it, and they leave you up with this. Either you're going or I'm dragging you there. Pow. Damn, man. kind of just ruin girls. <laughs> Not all girls can't stomach that, but that one was a little too graphic for me. So. It was graphic, yeah, but you know, the comics have gotten a lot more graphic through the years. Back yeah. in the 90s or the 80s, that would have been good. shadowed out. They would have put a huge shadow there and you would have just they would have left it to your imagination. They would have showed the hammer clanking down. They would have showed a little bit of blood exactly. spattering. Now, they were... now you get to see everything. It's like yeah, the brain, people the like the gore face, though. Like the, the, the gore sells. I could, I'd rather, I'd rather, as long as it's you know something the kids could read. I'd rather it be for more for no, you know. It's so not. no, that's definitely not. No. Well, then again, kids have seen worse. Believe me, pre-K kids know about sex already. Come on. Yeah, true. Okay, can fin the final comic of the week and time for comic book of the week. Brightest day, number twelve. Is that a skull in the background? Yes, that's Death Storm in the background. Uh, unfortunately, the cover has Firestorm on the cover, but uh, he only takes up about four or five pages of the entire issue. This issue focuses mainly on Jean Jones and Mars. A crazy Martian bitch wants to be Jean Jones' new mate. Uh, and it goes back and forth between that and then it goes to Firestorm. Firestorm is following Deathstorm, who now is wielding the White Lantern, which is changed into the Black Lantern. And he now has his Black Lantern Corps. I'll show you a picture of the current Black Lantern Corps he is wielding. Obviously, I believe the Matrix is what actually made the Black Lantern a death storm and what gives him the power to create the Black Lanterns. <clears throat> anyway, going back to John Jones, he's fighting the weird bitch and um, she tries to make him believe the Justice League is against him. A lot is revealed about John Jones here. He's supposed to steal life or plant life from our earth and bring it back to Mars and that is what will 
bring Mars back to life. She wants him to go to Earth and drain, suck all the life out of the Earth and bring it back to Mars so Mars can live again. He won't. He goes, he gets psycho crazy. He pounds the girl into the, the floor and everything. He's pounding the, the, the ground, live, live. And then he believes the white lantern power and it makes the entire planet live again. And all life comes back to Mars. Or so we think. And the last page is like, whoa. It's all a trick. John Jones has been played by one of his own. The last of his mm -hmm. kind, actually. The last female of his kind. The last of his kind, period. Nice story. This is the bad part. The next issue involves Hawkworld again. No offense, I enjoyed Brightest Day thus far. The Hawkman and Hawkgirl story is not catching me. Firestorm is. Dead Man is. Aquaman is. Aquaman was not in this issue at all, by the way. Hawkman and Hawkgirl are not. Even the um, Jean Jones is capturing me more. I'm not interested in what's happening to Hawkman and Hawkgirl, I'm being honest. When they stopped putting them in the stories, I was actually happy. This is the official halfway point, though. This is halfway through the series. It's going great. You know, there are a few down times where it's not as good as it could be, but then issues like this just bring it right back up again. Um, DC Comics, my only critique with DC Comics, once again, is the uber amount of Batman titles that will be coming out within at least the next year and the lack of Superman and the writing on Superman, uh, the Superman title needs to be, you know, they have to keep into character Superman and they have to keep into character, you know, they got to bring him back to Metropolis. I said this in New Krypton, they brought him back to Earth, now he's walking the Earth. He has to go back to Metropolis and just do what he's been doing since day one. Protecting Metropolis, fighting the bad guys, and everything else. Uh, Supergirl wise, they just gotta let go of the new yeah. Krypton. They have to. DC Comics has got to let go of new Krypton. Leave it in the past. It was a terrible story arc that they ended. Thank you, God, they ended it. And just let it go now. And let Superman go back to Metropolis. Maybe give Superman his other two titles back, Man of Steel and um, Man of Tomorrow on those extra weeks. Oh, sure. Get rid of Lex Luthor in Action Comics. And get back to stories in Metropolis. You know, and then and now the new Superman that's coming out next week, me and Amber, Amber was reading, uh, 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 we were reading an article about it. It's not even going to have Superman in it. It's going to be a, a, an episode of Lois Lane, meeting one of her ex-boyfriends and seeing... How life could have been if she married somebody normal. Because the guy's married and has kids. Yeah. And she wonders if she made a mistake marrying Clark. It's like Clark. a side story. It's stupid. It's gonna... Oh. See, I, I like Superman. I'm a Superman fan and they're screwing with him. And you wanted to say something about that book before we went off. So go ahead. Before yes, I, I do. Guess what? Batman's in here too. And so is Spider-Man. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> but the cool. ending of this... I forgot to mention this. The ending of this was when she went in, for those people who know Twilight like me, when they went into the meadow and he, like, he kisses her for the first time and all that. He runs her back to the truck. That's where it ends. Better ending. Yes. Okay, guys, so now that I've ranted about DC, Marvel, you guys just suck. Don't, don't announce things if you're not really going to do it. Unless it is a typo, then I will retract that when and if I find out it was a typo and your new comics are going to be two ninety nine, which I highly doubt this is Marvel. Uh, and actually, Disney got the rights to the new Avenger movie that's coming out. And any new Marvel movie that's coming out, Disney has the rights to it now. So Disney's logo is going to be on it. Oh, oh, that's a special. Yes, all right. Okay. As far as Amber's is concerned, check out those mangas, check out the Runaways. No, two it's faster. Because they already saw those. And then Twilight. Okay, Brightest Day 12. Absolutely check it out. Awesome. Time for Book of the Week with Green Lantern Corps 53. Huge reveal in this one. Superman Batman 27 was okay. Wish the cover was a lot better. Supergirl 57, let her let go of New Krypton, but all in all, good story leading to the next story. The DC Universe Halloween Special 2010? Yeah, it's nice. If you're, inter if you're interested in holiday issues, check it out. DC Universe Legacies number 6, concluding um, the, the Infinite Crisis on the crisis on Infinite Earths and continuing along with the birth of the Justice League and the Justice League of America. Batman Beyond Part 5 of 6, finally um, confirming that this is definitely, you know, it's a great mini, but I'm definitely not checking out the ongoing. 
X-23, number two so far. It's okay. Steve Rogers, Super Soldier, part four, four. Really good. If it's leading into a full series, an ongoing series at some point, I might check it out. If not, it was a good uh, short. Halo, Full of Reach. If you're a Halo fan, I'll check it out. And same thing goes for Darkwing Duck, number five. I love Darkwing Duck. So guys, with that, we conclude this week's We're at the Comic Books. You heard what I said about Superman DC Comics. I hope you help fix one of your cornerstone heroes. Your Uber, your, you changed Wonder Woman. There are four cornerstones. You changed Wonder Woman. You shrunk Superman. You gotta fix that. You're bringing Batman back with Uber amount of titles. And Green Lantern is awesome. Just fix Superman, and I believe that their cornerstones will be good. Peace. And chicken grease as always, guys. Yeah, later. See you. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's my rant about DC. See Marvel, you until your prices yeah. go down, my only critique is your writing sucks. And once you get rid of Brian Michael Bendis, who a lot of people are saying is screwing around with a lot of stories, um, there's no hope for you. Basically, that's it. Too expensive. And no, if it's not price. too expensive, the stories are eh. They should just retract what they said. I it. gotta be honest, though. A few stories are good for Marvel. I'm enjoying a few. So I'm not going to completely bash Marvel. No. But they won't make an official retraction if no. they keep the I don't the care. Same. We'll see how Marvel goes. Marvel has yeah. to make a few changes of its own. But DC Comics has less changes to make than Marvel. Because sure. DC Comics stood um, with stood by their change at least. Alright guys. I will see you guys next week for another review. We've got lots of comics next week. And actually a graphic novel from me. See you next week guys. Is it cool? Bye. Oh yeah.